what's popping? It's your boy TJ. Today we are back with another video. We are going to be talking about the pros and cons about trading in Forex. Basically, you know, it's, it's been a journey for myself starting at 18 years of age, six plus years in the making. I'm still learning every single day, which is why I want to tell, tell you and teach you guys about. It's not about being a 10 million profit funded trader or whatever you want to call it whatever you want your goals are or aspiration is it's not really about that okay you can set your long-term goals but you must set the short-term goals and that's something we're going to be talking about today it's a big big factor even in life in general you know a lot of people just try and they try and aim for the big big goals you know try and get a million try and get 200k funded try and make 10k from trading do, 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 do. But you've got to put in the basics and the fact of the matter is it's all about life experience so if you are new around here subscribe like the content and also check out the free trades the exit usd group and tff which is a funding prop firm you guys can get funded link in the description for the 50 percent discount code i don't know how long it's going to be staying for so make sure to use the code asap but moving forward and it's just talking about okay so we're going to go straight off the back with the short term goals. Now, I never had any short term goals at the start. If in fairness, when I started trading, I didn't know anything about trading. I didn't understand what I know today. And it's actually quite scary how long I've been in the industry for. And I'm only 24 years of age and I'm still learning today. Now, I don't think I'm the best trader in the world. Obviously not, you know, I haven't got all the flashy cars X, Y, Z, but no, Nevertheless, I don't need the cars to prove that I'm a good trader. And that's something that I want to talk to you guys about as well. Like, I was looking at other people trading Forex, you know, giving these signals and stuff. They're in, they're in their R8s, they're in their nice cars. It now makes me believe that they have other incomes that's generated this profit to then show off saying that it's from forex you know they must have had a different income because when i use their trades i'm only losing my life savings i swear now that is just one big thing about trading and the industry in general is very very I, I don't even look at people anymore these days but when i used to back in the day man like they would just be showing insane screenshots they would only post their wins not their losses they weren't trading r to r as such they never even it was all about the pips getting pips you made 500 pips it wasn't about what percent because they were using big sls now when i first come into the industry i don't know what an sl is i don't know what a tp is but you get taught it you know that's your stop line that should take profit but you don't actually know what it means you just know it's gonna close and it's gonna close in profit or in drawdown now that's why and how I learned the hard way. I deposited my 500 pound account. They're telling me to put 1.0s on. Yes, 1.0s. I think if you use a 500 pound account on gold to risk 1%, it's something like 0.02 or 0.0 or 0.10, something like that. Anyway, I didn't even know what risk management was, right? So I'm not winning and I'm taking the biggest SLs of my life. I've never seen anything like it. It was literally like giving money away for free to the brokers. Now, that wasn't my fault as a, as a beginner trader. I was following the wrong people. Now, my goals changed after this happened because I was like, surely this can't be the case. Surely I can't just be this bad at losing because they'll go, you didn't get the right entries. They'll go, it's all your fault. It's not our fault. It's your fault. Now I'm thinking I'm the worst trader ever. You know, I'm I'm selling I'm selling my house, selling my cars, just trying to afford the live account deposits. And now then, then these guys, you know, they've got their nice cars already. They they're sending in their profits, and I'm thinking, what's going on? What is actually going on? But it wasn't until I actually realised about R to R, which is called risk to reward, risk management and actually trying to make money from the markets instead of them just taking it. And it wasn't until I actually went into my own journey in such with Forex and took matters into my own hands, started self-learning. I'm self-taught reading the charts, self-taught how it markets work. I try my best to avoid the noise, which is why I don't listen to other traders because in the end of the day, trading is about yourself. When, you know, in 10 years time, I just, I like like now just trade by myself i don't need anyone else's input and that is the best thing ever and if you guys are trying to trade obviously use other people but you don't take their trades you just take their analysis and like 
you can't fail and lose 100 trades in a row. Like no one will be able to do that. So if you can just jot down your trades and just enjoy the process, make some short term goals like, I don't know, try and be profitable 2% in a month. 2% is nothing in a month, okay? I'm making 10, 15, 20% some weeks. Some weeks I will lose, you know, two to 5%. It just, that's just how it is. And I've accepted to learn and take my losses. And that is a big thing, probably for another video, but it's like being able to accept that you're losing, control your head, man. Your head is a scary place, like we all know, man. You have them voices, God knows who made them, but they tell you, enter, enter now, go on, enter again, you're gonna do it, go on. And then you just keep taking L after L. So that is a big thing in trading. You need to be, you need to be, you need to have a strategic, way of making money and that's by doing swing trading day trading probably wouldn't recommend day trading as such but like if you're on the markets and you've got an analysis all you have to do is look see where you want to enter and then take your position but just wait wait for it you don't have to be entering 50 trades a day two trades a day one trade a day you could trade once a week maybe that is something you should do for me personally i definitely did that I was thinking, right, I can't keep doing this to myself. I'm losing money after money. Now, I keep over trading and it had a mental impact on my trading and myself, my day-to-day -day life, you know. I'd hit a trade loss, I'd be fuming. I'd be like, no one speak to me. I'm absolutely pissed and it would ruin my whole day. And I was like, why am I ruining my whole day? just because of trading. I was like, this needs to change, otherwise I won't survive, you know? I end up doing something I don't wanna be doing because it's gonna to get to a point where I'm just gonna tip myself over the edge as it's so mentally draining. And that's how you gotta understand and enjoy the process of trading. It can be difficult at times, but if you learn, and you learn from mistakes, and that is the key thing of this video. You gotta learn from the mistakes. You're gonna make losses. No one is 99.9% .9 win rate. The markets are here to take our money. Now, we cannot let it take our money, so you trade less. You trade less, and this avoids so many problems, you know? You, then you start, I think it's like a gambling sort of mindset that you have when you start trading. And like, you see the potential, and then you start start doing some mad stuff that you don't even want to do but it's like your, your your hands are up here but your hands are actually on the phone just entering sending buying all of this shenanigans and it's just it's, it's a mad one it's a, trading is crazy and you just gotta make sure that you're switched on you learn from the mistakes you write a trading plan in and you do the basics right please if you're watching this take breaks trade once a week trade once a month if you had a 10 million pound account and you got 2%, you wouldn't trade for the rest of the month. Facts. So don't do it with a small account. Treat every account the same as you would with the other accounts. You, if, you, if that makes sense, let me know. But that's basically how I learned about trading. That's how I got to my point right now. And like those are the cons, you know. You lose money. It's draining mentally. You get tired. And you just... You just get deflated, man. And like, even losing funded accounts, you know, I lost a 200k account, I'll probably make another video on that. And it can get to you, it can really, really get to you, you know. I put on weight, I just gave up on life. Like, there's so many things, even if you look on my channel, when I upload consistently to when I just stop uploading, like, those are points in my life where I had like the biggest mental like breakdown ever. Like, pretty much went to Dubai three weeks, stayed there because I just didn't want to get back home. Even though my trades are here and I'm doing well now, but I just wanted to get the mental re-break, man. I just needed a break from just life, from everything, to then be energized and just completely smash it. And now, like, obviously the pros are insane, you know. You can be self-employed, like, I wake up every day. Today I woke up at 5.30 in the morning. It's not about the time you wake up. In, in fairness, it doesn't really matter. It's just how you can work well and for a long period of time. Like, I've got multiple businesses as well. It's not just trading. So, I've got a lot of stuff to work on. But the, the pros of trading allow me to make other businesses. And then I keep building those business, businesses up throughout the year. And then I am going to be chilling when I'm fifth, when I'm 30 or 40, you know. One of my targets and goals now is to get into the Forbes under 30, where you've got to be a millionaire. And I, 
I think I can do it, man. Like, I look at a million, it's not even a lot. Just because of trading, looking on how much it fluctuates when you're on a 400k account and all that sort of stuff, it's possible. So that's my goal. I've set, that's my long-term goal. But short-term goals, it's just so simple. And it's like, upload consistently on YouTube. Make 5% a month. Only trade three times a week. Like, three, three trades in a week, max. If you're losing, then just don't trade for the rest of the week. If you're winning, then yeah, you can risk a few extra profits or percentages, but that's up to you. And I'm allowed to go to Dubai, for example, and stay out longer, stay out for three weeks, not go there for seven days, 10 days, and have to go back to work. Yes, I am working, but it's a different sort of work, and I don't think everyone can do it, but I do think everyone can do it if they just change their mindset. It's quite difficult to be self-motivated uh, in terms of like someone else telling you to do something however like in the end of the day i'm working towards my future and that's like the biggest pro about trading i am literally everything i do i'm building for myself as a person i'm not building it for anyone else but myself and i'm where every single day i wake up and go to sleep i'm always trying to better myself and i think that's the biggest pro in training yeah you can make a lot of money in xyz but if you can just somehow be consistent, get the funded accounts or whatever whatever you're gonna do to make money in trading, you're only gonna get better, you're self-developing, and you can actually, for me personally, just, just bettering myself just makes me feel 20 times better because I'm not there yet. I've still got a long way to go. When I'm 30, I'll still be uploading videos probably. And I've got such a far journey to go, and I know that, and that's why I'm always going to improve because I, I'm my biggest critic and I know that I need to improve more with my trading, with my, with my discipline, with work rate. There's so many things that I can sl slag or slate myself for. I'm, I'm only 24. I'm only going to learn from my mistakes. And as long as I learn from my mistakes, I'm going to be the best trader out there. It has been your boy TJ. I hope I didn't waffle on too much. I just wanted to get it out there, you know. If anyone needs this let me know in the comments like the video subscribe as i said before if you are new check out all of the groups down below i feel blessed to have the community supporting me on my journey trading forex it's been a hell of a ride but yeah so many 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 more years to come it's been your boy tj much love take it easy and peace